And now let's talk about speed. Rule of thumb number one, and probably the most important uh, regarding the way you're gonna train speed uh, on the heavy bag. Speed or fast hands is something that does not have to do or does not have to do primarily with this type of movement, just hand movement, arm movement, okay? Because of course there can be some speed um, involved in this kind of movement or uh, you know generated but fighting wise you know speed and power comes primarily from your body so you have to have a good explosive core mainly core and hips movement and that will lead to uh, a really good hand speed primarily because this type of movement punching all as you know has to do with body movement so instead of doing like this type of movement which is a kind of fast movement but in reality has no real power it's better to focus on your body and try to uh, generate power from your whole body and speed that will come eventually as part of as you control as you go on you know controlling more and more your uh, uh, core and whole body movement and power generation so instead of doing you can do and and this has power and speed okay and this is with the whole body a very simple way to to approach or to introduce yourself to to this concept is that you start to strike the heavy bag but in reality your hands are pretty close to the bag okay again remember we did something like that earlier uh, with the help of the rubber band now you're going to do it without the rubber band just keep your hands close to the about five or most you know uh, 10 centimeters for the most from the bag and start instead of doing this type of movement start to uh, generate all this power and explosion from your body okay it's simple you can do all kinds of strikes if you prefer but uh, keep just keep your hands close to the to the bag and strike from the body now the secret if there is a secret because in reality there's no secret about it but let's call it a secret uh, of this thing is small short explosion from the core okay it's short it's this type of thing as you can see or as you will see when i inevitably turn my back to you you will see that uh, from behind it looks like a lot of batok movement and this is correct batoks participate a lot in the um, uh, in this type of movement okay and now let's start to work on this short explosive movement from the body and uh, try to do it a little faster okay at the beginning i was doing like uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This is my movement. And now I will do just one, two. Okay? Straight punches can be left, right, or right, left at this uh, point. It's not important. But you start accelerating. Uh, the beat can start ta ta, pa pa, and then you go faster, pa pa, ta ta. And then you just try to do it as fast as you can. All right, but again with body movement. Both punches pack some power, okay? So it's not this type of stuff. It's, you know, a real power. then start adding strikes 
uh, I did one, two. Now I'm gonna do just three strikes. Again, what type of strikes is not important. Two strikes, three strikes. And then I just added a fourth strike. You can just go on. Okay, there's no point adding like uh, 10 or 20 strikes. Uh, it's not about uh, strike, striking marathon or something. But still, do short bursts of strikes really fast. Three, four, five strikes for the most. And just keep doing it. Then you can expand a little bit the same concept by adding different strikes. Uh, of course, this will slow you down a little bit because the mechanics are not the same, okay? If you do just straight strikes, it's just repeating the same pattern faster and faster. But if you uh, add like uh, uh, circular punches or hammer fists or whatever, uh, of course, you will have to change from mechanical uh, one mechanical pattern to another. There are, of course, there are many similarities, but of course, they are kind of different. Just try to do like one, two, straight, straight, and then a circular punch. And reverse it.